it's Michelle from the Salty Spirit. So today I'm going to show you how to make a really pretty uh, rear view mirror hanging ornament. Very simple, all glass. You can hang these anywhere really. They're kind of, they have that sun, sun catcher quality um, on a lot of them. And you can hang this in your window at home. You just need that little suction hook clip thing that you just hang. And the good thing about these for the car is that, you know, they're not a big clunky thing where they're gonna obstruct your view while you're driving. I absolutely love mine. This this one is the one that we are going to do today. So it has a glass mermaid tail, fish tail. Um, but there are so many that you can do and I sell them in my Etsy shop and um, people just love them. So. Just basic tools that you're going to need today are the crimping tool, um, the flat nose pliers. You don't absolutely have to have these. It's just for a little reinforcement on some of the parts. And of course, a wire cutter. Okay, And then we're going to use various beads, glass beads and charms and whatnot for this particular one. Um, and it's all going on a stringing bead wire. Okay, so yep, this video, you can buy the kit of everything that you need to make this. Okay, you're just gonna follow the link in the description and it will take you to my shop where you can buy the kit, but you don't have to. You can do it with any any beautiful set of beads uh, to your liking, your, your liking of your color, the motif, anything like that. Okay, so let's get started. So you have your tools and you're going to start with 16, 17 inches of wire. And we are going to start with a crimping bead tube, rather they're tiny. You're going to string that wire through the crimping bead. And you're going to take your mermaid tail or fish tail and you're going to string that on after the crimping bead and then you're going to loop you're going to loop it over the tail and back into the crimping tube and you want to make sure you get that crimping tube somewhat close. You don't want a big loop hanging there because that's going to be the bottom part of your accessory. So see, just leave a little bit of space there and then you're going to grab your crimping tool on the bottom setting there. You're going to squeeze the crimping tube to create that little divot in there and then you're going to re-squeeze on the top part of the crimping tool, top setting, and squeeze the fold together nice and tight. I like to just reinforce it with my flat nose pliers just to really give it a squeeze, make sure it doesn't move. I always test it. <clears throat> and then you have that little tail that you want to snip off with wire cutters or even a tiny little scissor or regular scissor, but you really want to get in there close. Okay, so that's going to be the bottom. Okay, so we're going to start with a little seed bead, tiny little bead at the bottom, at the base there, all the way down. And for the next bead, you want to use a heavier bead. So we're going to take this pretty multifaceted um, sparkly bead and string it down at the bottom. And you always want something heavy at the bottom so that it hangs correctly. And we're going to speed this up. So the pattern for this project is going to be written out in the description, so don't worry. Um, and of course, you can always put your own little pattern in there. All the beads you see I'm using will be in your kit. But again, if you're doing this on your own, you be the artist and create what you want. Um, but again, read in the description the pattern, the pattern for this particular project. Okay, so we're gonna finish off the design. We wanna make a, a nice big loop to hang. So you're gonna take your little crimp tube, thread it through, 
and you're not going to come all the way down flush to the top bead okay so just re-thread it back into the tube and just create a little bit of space there between the top bead and where that crimp tube is going to be because the way it hangs you you want it to have some space make sure you have a nice big let me re-thread this re-thread this here okay and you want to like i said you want to have a nice big loop don't bring it all the way down to the bottom <clears throat> have that little space there and and you can have a lot of space it's up to you that's why you want to start with a lot more wire you can always cut it off so bottom part of that crimping tool you're going to crimp that bead just like we did in the beginning <clears throat> and then you go to the top part of that crimping tool and fold and squeeze and again I just like to take my flat nose pliers to reinforce that <clears throat> so the whole design really is is about six inches okay but again like I said you want to go much longer with the wire and then you're gonna cut off that little tail and there you have it now you're gonna have to thread it through itself to hang on your rear view mirror so you're just putting it around the base of the mirror and then just re-threading it through that big loop all the way through until the base holds it and then you just let it hang okay so again have to really have that big loop thanks so much for watching see you next time